Who is he? What happened to him? Why are we so intrigued? This is the tale of Daniel Larson. Daniel's sudden disappearance had much of his fanbase worried, despite the allegations against him. Some believe he had died. In reality though, Daniel was completely fine. Either Riva caught wind of Daniel's activities and took his phone, or the Denver police seized it. Towards the end of December in 2020, a politician named Nathaniel Daniel Larson was arrested for kidnapping a young girl. Fans mistakenly assumed he was either Daniel's father, or that it was Daniel himself. Daniel would not post for the rest of 2020. 2021 would begin without a single post from Daniel. January, nothing. February, also nothing. But then finally, on March 11th, 2021, Daniel would return to the internet on a new YouTube channel called Daniel Moore. Hello everyone, this is Daniel Larson. I just signed with Big Bank Records. Please stay tuned for further details on our future album and concerts and fan Zoom meetings. Please stay tuned. This return shows that many forms of management already had a grasp on Daniel. The channel description reads, I am a singer slash songwriter, actor, fashion model, and porn star. In another video posted that same day, Daniel announces that he is still single. Daniel Larson, I am single. If you want to date me, please contact. Hello, Moto. Thank you, and have a great rest of your week. Posted many more times on that day. When shit hits the fan, it hits the fan. Hello everyone, this is Daniel Larson. I might be collaborating with Grace Vanderwall. Please stay tuned for further details. Behind the scenes, management had recognized Daniel's lust for Grace Vanderwall and other extremely young stars such as Darcy Lynn Farmer and Addison Ray, They began to play the part of these individuals pretending to date or flirt with Daniel. Grace's, Addison's, and Darcy's impersonators slowly but surely began their work at manipulating Daniel. As per usual, this fueled his delusions to the point of no return. Daniel would then regain control of his previous YouTube and TikTok accounts. Daniel's collab with Big Bank Records would not last long, and on March 16th, management would release Southside, another diss track against previous record labels, which included Big Bank Records. Big mother of fucking bank records. They try to make me a masturbator. They sit on their Discord all day. Just... Yeah, I'm praying for change. Yeah, I'm praying for change. Yeezy on the track, let's get it. I'm in the casino, let's get it. Big Bank... I'll rob your bank Fake teenagers trying to pull a prank Fine dining record P.R.E. I'll get your girl on her knee We on the south side We on the south side The south don't mess with the west Mess with me Here goes Mr. West Stop the right Stop the right Donald Trump is very biased Speak up P.R.E. I'll get your girl on her knee I am the president I am the king, the album is dropping this spring. Big Bang suck, Big Bang suck. They sit on the Discord and have no friends. Speaking of PRE, yeah, buddy. Big mother of fucking bank records. They try to make me a masturbator. They sit on their Discord all day. Just did you know 
that PRE Records stands for Piss Run Emergency? I never knew that. One last thing I need to let you know. You ain't never seen nothing crazy then. This nigga when he all sex pro. Remember that last time Mexico. Remember that last time the episode. Stay tuned for my first music album. Are you ready for this? On March 21st, Daniel would announce that he is dating Addison Ray, most certainly played by someone in management or a troll. Hello, this is Daniel Larson. Addison Ray and I are dating. Please stay tuned for further details. I can't wait for our future. The same day, Hello, he addresses the allegations from a few Daniel months ago. Daniel Larson. I am here to talk about the rumors about me being a child sex offender um, for that happened in the year 2020. Um, I am going to be talking about how those rumors are actually false. Um, I have a team of about, um, let's just say, around 50 people that have all seen what has happened. Um, these fake companies were manipulating me, um, telling me to do things, threatening me to do things, um, you know, just people were showing up on my doorstep, causing issues, people were taking pictures of my house. It was a pretty big issue. We also had pizza deliveries of upwards of two to three hundred dollars, and it wasn't paid for. About this entire issue, um, what has actually happened was the fake companies were claiming to be record labels. They were asking for my social media passwords. Um, that's partially why my YouTube channel actually got hacked and I no longer have the 800 videos I used to have. We are trying to make a comeback, but it's going to be a slow process. We uh, need your encouragement. The fake companies harassed me and when I gave them my passwords and stuff for all my Google, um, social media, that is actually how they came up with the Pinterest, came up with the idea of me being a child sex offender. I'm not sure if you guys have ever heard of the fake record label Fine Dining Records, but they actually took me into a Zoom fan meeting with fans, upwards of 100 people, and they said that it was going to be an audition for an adult film. When I started the audition, they decided to let in upwards of 100 people. Just regular fans, all ages, I'm talking children, adults, ended up seeing everything. Um, I ended up hiring back in December of 2020. I hired a private investigator. We are trying to take care of everything as we speak. I hope you understand that the accusations are false and that this was all planned by the media. Everybody that was texting me that has posted text messages, they would lie about their age, they would lie about the story, and then change the story, meaning delete their previous text message and replace it with a different text message so that they could post it onto the media. That's how nasty the media has been to me. I am lucky to be here today and a up-and-coming superstar singer. Um, please stay tuned for more information. Thank you. On March 23rd, Daniel would call to an end. To mass shootings. We need to stop mass shootings. It is not okay. Please help support. 
Hashtag stop mass shootings. Let's work together. A day or two later, Daniel would reveal some tragic news. Hello, this is Daniel Larson. Addison Ray and I break up due to a miscommunication. Please stay tuned for more information. I hope we can stay friends. I am sorry, Addison Ray, for everything that has happened in the past year. I hope we can move on. Please call Interscope Records if you want to still be friends. Thank you. I would love to still go on tour with you. Daniel would then sign with Trollsome Record Labels known as Interscope Records and Party House Records. I just joined Interscope Records. I just signed with Interscope Records and Party House Records. Daniel would post a few more things in March. Going to be doing a vote. If you think I should get my phone back, click, click the thumbs up. Hello everyone, this is Daniel Larson. What do you think about me changing into a female? This message goes out to Travis Larson. You are a jerk for saying what you said to me. Hello everyone. I am planning on becoming transgender and I am going to... I've been thinking about this since I was 18 and I now go by she, they. Oh, my name is Daniel Larson. Hello, 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 my name is Daniel Larson. And I am possibly going to be dating Charlie D'Amelio. Hello, this is Daniel Larson. Please stay tuned for my upcoming song, Roaring Thunder. It's the best song I ever did yet. I can't wait for all of you to hear it. I will be on the radio. Please stay tuned. While some were happy for Daniel's return to social media, many were still understandably angry because of the allegations. This led to his fans sending hate texts and attempting to troll Daniel. Daniel would once again go on a brief hiatus and would return in April, along with a new haircut. Hello everyone, I am back. Please stay tuned for more upcoming events. Hello, this is Daniel Larson. I am planning for running for president in the future. I am going to be running as Republican. Stay tuned. In this video, Daniel is noticeably wearing comically large headphones in public. Daniel would don these headphones for quite some time. This is known as the headset era. The media last year tried to screw up my career. I will be posting more about this in future videos. Please stay tuned. Also, I got cleared by my private investigator to come back. Please help. Thank you. Have a great day. Daniel would then make a tribute for Blake Shelton. This is for Blake Shelton and the Make-A-Wish Foundation. Thank you so much, Blake Shelton. Please help spread the word to help with the false accusations. 
This is for Blake Shelton and Black Lives Matter. Black Lives Matter. Black Lives Matter! Many following Daniel thought that Daniel's hiatus was due to him going to jail, but Daniel would attempt to disprove them. Hello, this is Daniel Larson. For all the people saying that I went to jail for CP, that is not true. I never even had CP. Around this time, management employed the use of a fake Grace Vanderwall and began to build a fake relationship with him. We are officially dating. Grace Vanderwall has told me to make this public. We are officially dating. So please, everyone, stay tuned. Sometime in April, Daniel would head over to the gym. While at the gym, Daniel reminded everyone of his presidential campaign. Hello everyone, this is Daniel Larson. I am thinking about possibly running for president in the future. If you want me to run for president, click the thumbs up, give me a like, give me a follow, and comment. See you on the flip side. Hello, this is Daniel Larson. I am planning on running for president in the future. If you think that that's a good idea, please click the thumbs up, give me a like, give me a follow, and give me a comment. Please stay tuned. Thank you. He would then head over to Chipotle, but then pronounce the name wrong. I am at Chipotle. Stay tuned. Towards the end of April, Daniel would give a very inspirational message. You know, sometimes you fight and you fight and you fight, and it just doesn't work out. Join me in starting a movement. We need to fight. Very soon after, Daniel claimed he was late for his ride. Hey everyone, I need to catch my ride. I'm late. <laughs> Daniel would then upload a few interesting videos.
Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Yeah, this is what we do around here. I'm the king. I'm the king. I'm a big motherfucking queen. Yeah, you mess with me, you go out with a bang. I'm a motherfucking bang. Yeah, fuck this shit. Yeah. Rest in peace. MS Doom. <laughs> Suddenly, Mr. Larson alerted his followers that he got in trouble with his probation officer. I just got in trouble with my probation officer for not following the probation rules. Unfortunately, there was a miscommunication. He said if it happens anymore, I will go to jail. Please help me guys, I need your support. The sudden probation officer is likely tied to the incident where Daniel beat his mother and grandmother back in 2019. Speaking of his grandmother, Daniel would make a tribute video for her. Hello, this is Daniel Larson. I just wanted to say rest in peace to Nancy Scheimer, my grandmother. Thank you for supporting me with my career. See you someday in heaven. On May 1st, Daniel would apologize to EDP445, a YouTuber recently outed as a child predator. Shout out the YouTuber EDP445. I am sorry for the allegations against you. I am sorry. We are in this together. I have been there too. I hope we could possibly collaborate in the future. Please stay tuned for my upcoming events. If you need anything, feel free to message. I hope everything gets better. Thank you. Have a great rest of your week. On May 2nd, disaster happened upon Daniel once again. The main figure from management, named Flexburger, leaked sexually charged conversations Daniel had with fake minors and audio of him saying, Who wants to fuck Sky Brown? Let's fuck her! Sky Brown was 12 at the time. It also included a picture of his penis. Daniel responded to the leak with much anger and declared war on Flexburger. Buddy, this is Daniel Larson. There is just now a text over social media that came up under Flexburger. Please do not look at it. It's a picture of my dingling. Um, for some reason, um, the, this guy has changed the text message in the entire thing to mean something different because of the accusations about me. Do not believe it. We have Interscope's uh, security team, cybersecurity team, working on everything right now to clear everything. We're going to get it taken down off the media. Please stay tuned. Hello, this video is for Flex Burger. You fucking suck. Your, your, your YouTube video, your social media, everything is going to go down in fucking flames. Your fucking career is over. Thanks for exposing me. I really fucking appreciate it, fucking bitch. Hello, this is Daniel Larson, and I want this video is for Flex Burger on TikTok. You fucking exposed me, you shit ass motherfucking. He would also declare a lockdown. Because of what Flex Burger posted, we are going on lockdown. Everybody, we are going on lockdown. Stay tuned for what happens next. And Flex Burger on YouTube and TikTok, you are a fucking bitch for exposing me. We are calling the Denver Police Department and reporting you. The FBI will be coming to your house. Daniel, through the coming days, will continue to respond and address the influx of people now harassing him, forcing him to change his phone number. Hello, everyone. This is Daniel Larson. Please don't spam comment me. And please do not like 
spam comment, spam text. It's getting bad. We will we Interscope will be reporting everyone who does. Daniel would then announce that he is transgender, but the video he uploaded says transgender mouth instead of month. Hello, this is Daniel Larson, and this is Transgender Awareness Month. Because it is Transgender Awareness Month, I am transgender. Please stay tuned. Please help us out. Stay tuned. Thank you. Flexburger, however, was still pulling the strings. He quickly got back in contact with Daniel under the name Josh. He was about to cause one of Daniel's most notorious incidents. On the morning of May 6th, Daniel addressed the situation with Sky Brown. 600 earlier. If we could hit 700 right now, that would be great. I need all of your support right now. Get this climbing. We just broke 100. We just broke 100. We just broke 100. Whoever's hacking right now needs to fucking stop. Whoever is trying to call me right now needs to fucking stop. I realize I'm a fuck. I f If you guys don't. Hello, my name is Daniel Larson. We will be reporting that number. Please stop hacking. We are reporting everyone who is hacking. For the past few months, either from Josh, Flexburger, or Fake Grace, management was feeding Daniel ideas of becoming a porn star. On May 6th, Josh required Daniel to audition for his role as a porn star. Hello everyone, this is Daniel Larson. I have some breaking news. I will be going into adult films, so please stay tuned for upcoming information. We are also have some bigger news coming soon, so stay tuned. He will host his first ever live concert on TikTok, and then the final live stream for that day would happen. About an hour after this horrifying event, Daniel Larson fans was banned. Soon, Daniel's channel would be hacked, which resulted in someone posting his penis on his YouTube community page. The person that hacked his YouTube was a 13-year-old boy known as Combotter. This entire day, most notably the livestream, is known as the May 6th incident. Daniel quickly made another TikTok account called It's Me, Daniel Larson, and on May 7th, Daniel would once again strip down for the camera thinking it was a porn star audition. On the 8th of May, a YouTuber named Papa Gut made a video on Daniel, which brought more attention to Mr. Larson himself. At this point, Flexburger had shifted his focus onto using Grace Vanderwall. By playing the slow game, Daniel now thought he was dating the real Grace, and soon, management would convince Daniel that they were the Vanderwall management team. A little while later, Daniel made moaning videos for Grace Vanderwall. This message is for Grace. Great. 
face. I, oh, I love you so much. Oh, oh yeah, Grace. Uh, oh, I hope you feel good. Oh, Grace, you're, you're all I ever wanted. Oh, Grace, I love you so much. Will you please marry me? Oh, man. Oh, I just love you. Oh, my God, Grace. Oh, yeah. Oh. Oh, my God. Um. On another newly made TikTok account, Daniel spammed Grace Vanderwall's official account in the comment section. In June, Daniel moved over to a new social media platform called Likey. I should have gone to the restroom before I did this video. I'll be right back. When shit hits the fan, it hits the fan. This message goes out to Taylor Swift. I would love to collaborate with you someday. This message goes out to Bruno Mars. We should collaborate someday. I just wanted to say good night to everyone and to all the people on my team and my current collaboration. Everyone who is currently in touch with me, good night. Daniel briefly moved back to TikTok on June 18th and made an account called Grace and Daniel 2022. Daniel posted many weird videos targeting Grace Vanderwall. Tell her before we do anything in the future, make sure she drinks a lot of water. I would have her squirting all over the room. Management were getting quite annoyed with Daniel around that time. When confronting Daniel about his CP searches, Daniel would threaten to fire the team and even his lover, Fake Grace. So, they devised a plan to get back at Daniel by putting the Fake Grace in critical condition. This sent Daniel into a multi-day meltdown on Likey, starting on June 23rd. I am sorry, Grace, for everything that I've done. I'm sorry for going behind your back and making the videos, making the accounts. I don't want you to go through everything. As for the dating, I don't care at all right now. I want you to make it through this. And if anything happens, I will carry on your legacy for you. I'm not going to make any more new YouTube accounts because I just don't want to mess things up. I want you to come back better than ever. <sighs> I will only do likey. Hello, this is Daniel Larson. I just wanted to say whatever happens, I will try to carry on the legacy. This is a moment of silence for Grace station to go downtown I have a message from Grace um, she is saying that she's currently going to fight this message is from me I'm gonna be up all night long I just got word that I'm gonna be up all night long um, in touch with the hospital so um, I'm gonna be um, doing that job tonight so we are going to need all pastors everywhere in the U.S. and all across the world to please, please pray for Grace Vanderwall. Thank you. This message is for Grace. I will never masturbate to children. Grace, I am sorry for taking down my pants on my video. I am also sorry for texting minors. Hello, this message goes out to the Vanderwall family and Grace Vanderwall for the funeral. I am a pedophile. I have sexted minors, 13 years old, well, I'm going to be honest, 12 years old, all the way up to 18 years old. Grace, <laughs> Grace, if you make it through this, I will be there by your side forever. You are my dream celebrity. It's only just the beginning right now of something. I'm going to start a hashtag called Daniel and Grace to try to save us. I am here for you. Please. I am trying everything. 
I won't do anything you don't want moving forward, but you have to pull out of this. You have to. Grace and Dave, I am sorry for almost killing you guys. I feel so sorry. I'm trying to be professional because I have to be the man in this situation. Grace, please make it through this. Your fans are asking that I take your legacy and take your name moving forward. I don't want to have to do that without you. So please, please make it through this. I need your help. I don't know what I'm doing. Please, Grace. It's my only hope. Or I go down with you. During the day of the 24th, the Vanderwall team asked Daniel to spread the news of Grace being in the hospital. There is currently a celebrity in the hospital. Please help spread the message. This is urgent. Please pray for the Vanderwall family. They're currently in the hospital. There was a fire at the building where she was at, and she ended up jumping out the window. She is lucky to be alive. Thank you for all of your support. And Grace, you are my hero. There's currently a celebrity in the hospital. We are asking that the information gets loose. Thank you, everyone. Please spread the message. There's currently a celebrity. There's currently a celebrity in the hospital. Please spread the news. There's currently a celebrity in the hospital. Please spread the news. Thank you so much for all of your support. There is currently a celebrity in the hospital. We are asking that the message gets out. That's very rude of you. And you're talking to your friends, just go. That was assault, by the way. Oh, yeah, it was. I have it all on film. Oh, no, I'm not going to because you tried to grab me. I did not try to Yeah, you did. Yeah, you did. It's all on film. It's all on film. On the 25th, the meltdown would climax. It would be revealed that Daniel had damaged his phone during a panic attack and had lost all communication with the Vanderwall team, Josh, and a man named JP. He was using a tablet or a computer to try and get updates. Hello, this is Daniel Larson. My phone ended up breaking last night when everything was going on. I was tossing the phone in the air and it ended up, um, the screen ended up going blank and it showed static. So please, if you get this message, know that I'm currently trying. You can contact me through here. Fortunately, I will have to give video updates. This message goes out to the Vanderwall family. Please, please pray for the Vanderwall family. They're currently in critical condition. This message goes out to the Vanderwall team. I am currently trying everything I could possibly try. Even though my phone broke, I have still gotten out the message. I will give more updates as I go. But unfortunately, I'm without a phone right now. And so I'm currently doing everything by laptop. But fortunately, it will not let me message as of right now. So I can only do videos. But please stay tuned. I will try to give updates and I'll try to get everything situated. Hello, this is Daniel Larson. This is a state of emergency order to the Vanderwall team. Please make another video and post it on all socials, all social media platforms and say, please pray for the Vanderwall family. Please pray, pray for the Vanderwall family. They're in critical condition. And leave it there. I want pictures of the entire family. Please post now.
Hello, this is Daniel Larson. Please let me know if there's anything I could do to help. Please ask the Vanderwall team what I need to do to help and also to rank up in the company. Hello to Daniel Larson team and my record label. There's currently a situation. Google and YouTube are not letting me use them. I don't know what's going on. I thought we had an agreement. But unfortunately, I lost all access to making new Google accounts. I currently am stuck. I have no way of contacting you. Likey is not letting me post. Hey, Josh and Jay. Please contact JP now. We have an emergency. Please message me, Josh. Please send Jay and Bob the contract for Party House. They need to see it. They need proof for the investigation. The police are about to be called into the situation. We still are getting zero responses. I admit to sexting minors and sexting Grace and sending Grace a dick pic. I'm sorry for putting Grace through so much stress that she takes her own life and has a heart attack. Her last words to me was the last words to me was Daniel I look up to you but you make wrong choices I know you could do better better I know you could do better please do better for me I want you to carry off your legacy for me on my legacy for me. I don't know if I'm going to make it through the night. And my response to her was, yes, I would carry on her legacy. And that's what I'm currently doing. Grace. Rest in peace. I don't know if you're getting this message. But if you got this message. You have any. You can always be welcome to come. To my house. I don't know if in heaven you could see everything. I don't know. But you're always welcome to be here. And I'm sorry for everything that has happened. Maybe one day, when I die, we could finally meet and I could apologize. But right now I'm worried about clearing this up and fixing what I've done. That's why I'm making a YouTube video right now. But I will tell you, I'm not going to sit here and do thousands of YouTube videos like I've been doing right now. I'm just doing this one video to try to clear things up. I'm just trying to get the word out. I'm sorry, Grace. You should have never dealt with this. You should have never gone through this. And you should have never had a heart attack. I'm so sorry. But I promise I will do what you said and I will carry this on and I will carry their, your legacy and I'll put my music and everything moving forward under you because you're a hero. You saved my life. And that's what I'm going to do. 
You chose to take yourself off life support. You fought for me. And I will not give up. The entire Vanderwall family is wishing you to rest in peace. And I am currently getting used to everything. But I have your mother, Tina Vanderwall's help. And now I have you from above looking down on me. And Dave, all in my heart. And we will make it through this no matter what. Rest in peace. Dave and Grace Vanderwall, the one and only Dave and Grace Vanderwall. Guys, check out my YouTube now and please comment. Check out my YouTube now and please comment. If I get the response, I will take it all down. This is my only source right now. Do it now or I commit suicide. This is Daniel Larson. JP threatened to kill me to do all this. Please let me back on the team now or I commit suicide. I can't take this. I can't take this. I can't take this. Josh, Jay, Vanderwall family, please, I hope you're seeing this right now, please. I can't take this much longer. I'm about to, I'm about to commit suicide. <sighs> emergency, emergency. Josh, Jay, Vanderwall family, please look at my latest YouTube. Please look at my latest YouTube. I am fighting, but this is my only source of contact, and to know that right now that you actually get it. Please message me. Please message me now. If you guys start messaging me on YouTube so I know what the fuck is going on and I know I'm being hurt, then I will start taking the videos down. But until then, I want to make sure that they get hurt by you guys. Guys, message me now on YouTube. Now. Now. I'm starting to get fucking angry. My JP is currently in big trouble because he forced me to do this. He's, he threatened to fucking murder me. If you guys let me join the team now, I will sit here and I will fight. I will make videos on Likey for the rest of the night to spread the message. But you have to, you have to bear with me. You guys are going to have to fight. I'm fighting right now. Now, guys, it's an emergency. Now, guys. I will not take the videos down until I get on the team fully. I will not back down. This is my only source of contact right now, and by you guys commenting on my YouTube videos, that's the only way right, right now I know that you guys are hearing me. Josh, I will call you in a bit. I am trying everything I can. Please message me on YouTube. I need to I need to know what's going on. It's my only source of communication. I'm trying to get the message across that it was all an accident. JP forced me. He threatened to kill me. I had to, otherwise he would have killed me. I don't know what else to say, guys. I'm telling the fucking truth, and you guys are not doing anything I ask. I don't know what to fucking believe anymore. I'm done. I'm gonna be homeless before we flippin' know it. I'm gonna be fucking homeless, and it's all thanks to fucking JP. The faster you guys respond, the faster we could take the videos down. I demand 
being on the man roll team. I demand. I demand. I repent. I repent. I repent. I repent. Look at my last YouTube video, guys. Now. It's getting worse. And I'm about to have a panic attack. Guys, I don't know what's going on. No one is messaging me. I don't know what's being said. Can I at least get some flippin' updates so I could start taking some videos down? What happened to my support? What happened to my team? What happened to everybody? Everyone on the entire team and everyone who is seeing this, message Josh, now. The only reason why I'm posting this is because I'm trying to get this heard. I want on the team now. Do not block me on all social medias or I will fucking die. <laughs> I'm currently under attack. Please, please, please. I'm currently under attack. You need to let me on the team now. <laughs> I don't know what to do. Please let me on the team. I can't do anything. I want out. I want out. I will take down two videos on YouTube to show that I care. I will take down two. And it's not letting me into my email. It's not letting me into my email because I don't have my phone number. It's not sending a verification to my phone. This is my only source of communication right now. For email, it wants my phone number for verification. Please, all I need is an answer. Yes, you're on the team and then everything will get taken down. I'm trying to call Josh, but it won't be till later because I have to go all the way to the store just to do it. If you don't let me on the team now... <laughs> I'm gonna have to die. I'm gonna have to stop. I don't know. I'm trying everything. I will take down all videos but one. I'm gonna take down all videos but one on YouTube. But please, please fucking believe me. Please comment on the YouTube so I fucking know you guys are listening and the fucking fact that I'm trying. All I want to be is help. All I want to be is on the team, so I can, so I can get a life. I have started deleting videos on YouTube, but please trust me. I need a comment now. I want to be with the team. J, I mean, JP is currently in big trouble with the police for what he did. Police are currently on their way. I will give updates shortly. <laughs>